Hey guys, I went to Five Below for the first time recently and raided their little art department area and got this 12 set of jelly gouache. Uh, you've probably seen jelly gouache around YouTube. It's very popular with the whole Himmy gouache. And I've had it on my Amazon wish, wish list for ages, you know, after seeing so many people using it that I instantly jumped at getting this one. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm doing post-commentary because all the audio for this video actually didn't record, I guess. So, you know, I'm just gonna, I wanna roll with what I'm doing. So let's open up this little bad boy and check it out. I decided to record this whole thing because I was so excited that they had jelly gouache there. And I thought I have to share with everybody. One thing that's different from what I've seen in like Hemi gouache um, unboxings is they don't have these little white caps for them. They're all open and you just use the lid as a, a giant cap itself. So I thought it was super cool that these, you know, they've got the aluminum on them, but they also have these little white covers to put them on, which you could also, I guess, use as palettes if you wanted to as little individual palettes, like put the paint on so that way you could just mix without worrying about contamination. Here are all the colors that come in it, which obviously I suggest swatching them yourself instead of relying on packaging for true colors, but we've got a light blue, a purple, a pink, a black, green, and this peachy color. We've got orange, yellow, white, dark red, light red, and a brown. Here is the lid that's got areas to mix paint in. And I definitely was not going to open all of these up on camera because I, it's like swatching. Like I'm not into recording that process. You've seen it a thousand times on YouTube. So, however, I did have to show you, it was a struggle. Like I have seen so many unboxings of this Hemi gouache stuff that you see it so many times and you're like, oh, this is a piece of cake. Like I've got my life together. I can open these and not make the same mistakes they did. You're wrong. You are 100% wrong. No matter how prepared you think you are, you are not emotionally prepared to open these containers. They are messy. The aluminum, breaks off constantly. These had like a little plastic bit, you know, like when you try to open up a peanut butter jar and you rip most of it, but then there's still that like plastic seal there. Yeah, this is, this, this crap had that. And oh my gosh, <laughs> it was, it was a, a struggle. I eventually got fed up with the whole peach one and decided to show you what it was like <laughs> to removing the foil from the black one. This stuff would explode on you as you're trying to open it because it's like pressure sealed and I'm telling you like the aluminum's falling apart I'm making a huge mess just all over myself it's look at it just falling apart and I was pointing out the fact that there's still plastic attached to the thing uh yeah it it 100% looks like I just killed an orc So here it is, all unwrapped, all scooped and everything. I had kept all the wrappers to the side and the plastic that it was wrapped in originally. And uh, oh my gosh, this was this was a trip. Um, I recommend having some tools on hand. I had an X-Acto blade, tweezers, and my little painting spatula here. These made it so much easier. I used a spatula to scoop paint out so I didn't waste too much. The tweezers were to help me get off the plastic and aluminum. The X-Acto blade I used to uh, cut when the aluminum would rip off. I had to cut through the plastic and some of the aluminum. So I used the blade to do that. But oh, oh my gosh, were these so, so helpful to have and keep me sane during this process. <laughs> Um, a few other tips, don't wear any clothes that you like, because I'm telling you, these things, when you 
open them, they, they can spray. I got some on my favorite yellow Slipknot hoodie and luckily, you know, it's going to wash right out or it's wa it has washed right out, but don't, don't wear any light colored clothes. I definitely recommend opening up the uh, lighter colors first. It's like the white and the pretty little peachy color, yellow, open those first. It, you don't want to accidentally open up the black one first like I did. Well, I didn't open it first, but you don't want to open up a darker color first and then accidentally cross-contaminate into white. And this gouache set only comes with one white versus the other ones. Usually you get two of them. One thing I noticed about this set is it only has one set of warm and cool tone. So the red, it's got a warm red and a cool red. And usually you get a cool blue and a warm blue, cool yellow, warm yellow. But this was just a darker, warmer red and then a lighter, cooler red. And I don't know if maybe the purple was supposed to be trying to compensate for that a little bit. But those are just some things that I noticed about this set. All right, so here are some cute little sketches that I prepared in my sketchbook to officially test out these paints. I prefer to do little paintings in my sketchbook to test out my art supplies on rather than like a full illustration that I know some people like to do just because I grew attached to my full illustrations and I've been burned before by new art supplies that were not that great and then I end up ruining my illustration so I like to do little sketches instead to test it out and I gotta say the the one that I'm working on right now, I think I'm going to have to turn this one into a full illustration at some point. Not with these paints though. Spoiler alert, these paints were not good. But that's kind of what you expect when they were only $5 versus, you know, the $35 or whatever for better ones on Amazon or wherever you might find jelly gouache. But if you're just wanting to try them out for kicks and giggles, it wasn't too, too bad. It wasn't unbearable. Uh, knowing how to mix colors is definitely helpful. Layering them made them better. I guess, how do I word this? You know, usually when you layer paints and layer gouaches it gets darker and such and these i i compared these um when i was describing them to someone as they're waxy kind of like if you were to color with like crazy art or rose art crayons that's what these gouache jelly gouaches remind me of rose art crayons that terrible waxiness where you're just pushing it around on the page instead of actually like coloring with it and it can like rub off and it's like barely visible that's how these felt so layering them was good they just they also like I thought I would mix a good amount that would last me but it really didn't so I'd have to keep mixing my colors and mixing my colors and they were just they'll be great if you do mixed media you know I'm not gonna let these go to waste I will continue using these um, just because I don't like to waste art supplies you know eventually I would like to do you know giveaways with art supplies that I have if I like them I would I, I would not give these really to anyone unless it was like a niece or nephew or one of my children but even then they're kind of shifty so I don't know if I would trust them with these paints they probably think they're finger paints anyways so yeah they're they're okay they're not the worst by far they are not the worst and if you're honestly, if you're just wanting to look for something that's affordable, um, like I would recommend these to, you know, any, anybody who's just looking to play with them, who, who sees other artists using jelly gouache and they're like, oh my gosh, I really 
really want to try these, but I, I, I don't have a way to spend, you know, $35. You know, if there's any kids or younger artists out there who really want to try these, five below, $5. Give it a try. You know, don't expect the the best result ever, but I, I, they, I got burnt out towards the end doing this, but this first little painting that I'm doing, I absolutely, I loved it, mainly because I really liked what I was doing. I eventually gave up on the Anosuke one because it just was not working out for me. And that was about the turning point when I decided that I was going to be using watercolor, or not watercolor, using colored pencils in this as well was when I was working on Anosuke because I just did not like how they were coming out. And then I 100% almost scrapped the bird. The bird at the, the very end. It's a bird that we have in our backyard all the time. And I'm currently looking for it in my sketchbook. Found it. Yeah, as I'm looking at my sketchbook now, versus in the painting. I 100% gave up on Anosuke. It wasn't working out. Nothing I tried worked out. Even when I came back with pencils, it wasn't working out. So I'm probably just going to cover that up with something else. But the little guy from Breath of the Wild and the Kodama, super cute. Turned out ridiculously cute. I love them. I do. I love them so much. And then the little white-throated... Um, what are you? Nut hatch? The little white-throated bird came out a lot cuter than when I first started. Like, I kept working at it and working at it and working at it, and it, it paid off. It ended up becoming super cute. So now that I am waiting for, you know, some of the paints to dry and I'm trying to work on an Oske here... I'm just going to let this little speed paint go and you guys can enjoy some music and I will check back in with you at the end. Thank you. 
So I didn't realize it, but this video just kind of abruptly ends as I'm working on Anosuke. And I could have sworn that I had recorded me pursuing it with colored pencils, but at that point I probably just got so burnt out and frustrated that I, you know, just stopped recording and thought I've got to salvage this. Or one of my children came in and I, you know, had to go help them or play with them. And so I just stopped the video. So I apologize for the abrupt ending. Uh, I did record a little finished bit of the sketchbook and the little drawings before I uh, cover up Anosuke. So I'm just going to say now, thank you so much for watching this video. And again, if you are just looking for some cheap jelly gouache, these were $5 at five below. And, you know, play with them. Try new supplies. You know, don't let this discourage you or anything like that. Just make sure you don't do, if you're wanting to try new supplies, try them in a sketchbook. Uh, don't do anything, you know, super serial or anything like that. So that way you're not upset or disappointed or anything. Your artwork is amazing. You guys are all fantastic. And you're going to get to wherever you want to get to. I believe in you. So here is the little clip of the finished paintings. 
and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, and I will see you next time.